Well, I want to report here, on the, I want to show you the reporting, rather, that again goes back to the heart of the issue that I find disgraceful in a country like ours. That last year, as you know, 3.7 million people weren't able to put food on the table. They ended up having to reach out to charities. But, of course, before they reach out to charities, they go without. And even after they go without, they might eventually start reaching out to family. Hundreds of Australians say they skip meals and visit food banks and even dumpster dive as the cost of living crisis continues. Oh, no, no, but you $14 a week tax cut. That's all you get. $40 million is for us to tell you about how amazing it is. According to the story, a mother skips meals to make sure that her son can eat dinner. Others get through the day on little more than a coffee or a bread roll, going hungry to pay the rent, electricity bills or buy their pets food. A few examples of fellow Australians. This government doesn't give us stuff. Most of the media doesn't either. Cost of living is just one of those things that they could use as a fulcrum to get rid of the government they didn't like because they weren't giving them the access that they preferred. They weren't getting the exclusives. So cost of living, which was, of course, such a massive issue and still remains such a massive issue, and I, as a, a, a kid like you of suburban Australia, am absolutely compelled to talk about it and to keep talking about it because these people need a voice. Thank you to the ABC for actually reporting on this today. Real Australian. I go without food to ensure my son has something to eat. I've also gone to a charity for the first time in my life. You have no idea how humiliating this was for me. And it almost cost my life. That's why I talk about it every night, because that, those are the stakes. The smart allegory of the Prime Minister, the arrogance of his office, and the attitudes generally of the media that are just turning into this nice little this nice little system that all feeds itself and protects itself and never calls anything out. Renee says that she limits her food intake so she can feed and look after her dog. Another person says they eat one meal at a moment because it's all they can afford. This government has $40 million to flog its own too little too late tax cut because of the political implications. How much money extra have they given out to groups like Food Bank who take care of people like this? Not even half. Not even half. In fact, according to Amanda Rishworth, who was the relevant minister here, they announced an extra $14.4 million. People are going to charities right now and they are so humiliated by it, it may well cost their life. And these low lowlifes, I'm sorry, I shouldn't talk about my fellow citizen like this, but these people in power do not care. They truly do not care. They assume you are so stupid and you hate the last mob so much that you'll vote for them forever. They assume if they say the word cut, cut, cut and they put up a picture of Peter Dutton in black and white, ooga booga and scare, You'll just keep voting for them. But the priority of their own government is that when their own citizens are queuing for food, that they spend twice as much on themselves politically than they do on extra funding for food banks. It's a disgusting set of values and about priorities about this government. And how often did that bloke constantly tell us about from whence he came? Now, you would imagine that if you've come from those circumstances, you actually do something. That you have some capacity to be able to do something more than any politician in the past who, yes, all say they care about this stuff, but they sort of it all falls by the wayside. Who understand that it's a nice way to get to people's hearts and show that you care, but in the end, let's, let's move money somewhere else. This bloke is spending twice as much, twice as much, flogging his own too little, too late tax cuts for political reasons than he is on extra money for food services. Honestly, this bloke, fair dinkum.